Flower basket out of reeds plum is no easy task. It takes time, great effort and skill. Welcome to Gravity Productions where we show you how it's done. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Basket weaving, the process of weaving or sweeving pliable material into two or three dimensional artifacts. The pliable material used is reeds plant. Bamboo can also be used to make this basket. The reed plant is divided and separated into two. It is then soaked in water and dried. The first part in basket weaving is to set the base. The strands are laid out that resembles spokes in a clock. The length of the strands is according to the size of the basket. Then the weaver start interlocking the strands into the base and continues the process. The area of Adimali Panjayat is also characterized by a large number of migrant weavers from Tamil Nadu, who are mostly engaged by middlemen. They are in a way competitors to the native weavers as they are prepared to work for extremely low wages. Basket weaving is one of the widest spread craft in the history of any human civilization. From a very ancient time, a group of people found different ways to make basket using bamboo and reeds plant. The unorganized bamboo reed weaving sector in Kerala is at the crossroad. It is highly disorganized and scattered in nature has made the situation worse. The Bamboo Corporation has taken several steps in solving this issue. During the Industrial Revolution, baskets were used in factories for packing and deliveries. Wicker furniture became a fashionable in Victorian society. During the World War, thousands of baskets made using bamboo and reeds were used for transporting messenger pigeons. After the base is tightly held, the weaver bends the strands into the shape of the basket. Introduction of plastic, steel and aluminium had a bad effect on this industry. Many weavers stopped doing sieving and winnowing because it wasn't profitable.
Fortunately, the awareness of using eco-friendly materials have helped to boom the industry. Reeds and bamboo are nowadays used from flutes in classical music, basket, plates in restaurant, light shades, and many more. People from Adimali Panjayat in Idiki district traditionally do reed and bamboo weaving. This area is easily accessible to the major market such as Madurai and Salem in Tamil Nadu and Ernakulam and Alua in Kerala. All the traditional weaving centers in this area are situated near to the reed forest, thus providing accessibility to the raw material. The rest of the strands are woven into the frame, thereby forming the shape of the basket. As the body of the basket is made, the leftover strands are bent forward and inserted into the narrow gap and later locked. As reed plants are up plenty in Kerala, they have settled here and continues their tradition. However, the weaver doesn't want his children to be in the same line of business. Thus, with this generation, the craft and the basket weaving will come to a standstill. Weaver also inserts a strand that forms a sling to hold the basket. He is a resident of Tamil Nadu and he belongs to the Mahindra Major caste, whose community has been in this line of business for generations. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment and share. Take it.